I've just been looking through some of your comments, and there's so many of them that call out for a response. I, I was particularly entertained by Pete Stobbs, 5844, who says, I guess you don't read Hebrew. And I thought, well, what, what are you saying there? And I realised that this is about a, 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 a post I made about the finger of blame points to Fujitsu and the post office. And I think what Pete Stobbs is trying to allude to is the finger that writes... Uh, in the book of Daniel. Well, um, the whole problem with the book of Daniel is it's not written in Hebrew, it's written in Aramaic. Um, but it is a great read, and the story of the finger appearing on the wall and writing these alarming um, notes of doom. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I entirely agree. It's a very good point. Um, and Pete Stobbs then goes on to say, yes, do struggle with inconvenient facts, Prof, don't you? Um, or do you? You do struggle. Um, well, I don't know whether I do struggle with inconvenient facts. I like to be able to sort of work my way through a problem, which means sometimes I'm going to contradict myself, but sometimes um, <laughs> sometimes I'm going to I'm 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 going to be uh, getting somewhere somewhere right, um, but not necessarily, not always, and. Um, you know, that's uh, that's the point of a process. And I think the YouTube thing is part of a process. It's not part of a sort of, there's not a divine fiat there. A Dusk Jockeys app says, who amongst us is not tired of being tossed off by their MPs? Um, well, yeah, you're, you're, you're quite you're quite right there. The um, uh, but I think uh, come the elect come the general election. The tossing off will be on the other hand. And uh, I think a lot of MPs who have treated their constituents with disdain will find out exactly what their constituents feel and they and, and they will be out of a job. Um, that That's part of the response. Um, I, I, was ra I, I was rather amused that at one point I was in the constituency of Matt Hancock and... I was very much aware of what he was doing and his reputation. And I uh, i mean, I was only working there, sadly, so I, I didn't feel that he was entirely my MP. Uh, but um, I don't feel my personal MP has done everything that, they, that he could have done. And I've written on a number of occasions, quite a lot, actually, asking for a meeting, and no meeting has really occurred. I've had a lot of letters going backwards and forwards. And most of the time, the MP has relied on a particular part of the uh, of the Westminster estate that generates paragraphs uh, in response to particular questions. And so what you get back is a completely inane, purposeless, unfocused response... Um, uh, a, a paragraph of drivel or a letter from a corresponding ministry which is generally very late and which again is drivel it refers me to talk to people who I've already spoken to who have told me very firmly that they're not responsible and that, and, and that this is something for the government to deal with and we just go round and round in circles, and it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. The same sort of nonsense is practiced by the the legal system, and I think both the law and politics need to grow up and need to recognise this wasting of time is wasting of time. And with the legal thing, you not only have this time wasting, but you then have oh, I'm so sorry, uh, you you've not got your certificate of. Um, uh, of a waiver of fees in on time and so we can't deal with this now but you know you're still going through this process you can't deal with it now because you took up so many months before you replied to my last letter and now, now, now you've got to have all the all the correspondence all the legal document all the waivers of fees and all these other bits and pieces assembled and sent again sent again as a bundle because you binned everything else in accordance with your uh, procedures. Your procedures are about ducking responsibility and avoiding making any decision. And yes, uh, you know, for people who are not part of the political class or part of the legal class, people who are not in that industry, 
uh, we can't follow all the extraordinary um, minutiae of of um, process that you have set up simply to blind the people to your um, laziness, lack of diligence, tardiness. And there will come a point when this will be called out. There always is a point when this is called out. And it's fundamentally wrong. 